Well, Harvey, a perfect point score so far. Starts from pole position. Alongside him on the front row, the driver that has been second for most of the day, but not quick enough to get on terms with anybody. That is Daniel Sebula. Sebula in P2. The outside of row one in cart number 135. Ben Gartside and Dylan Briley will start on row two. Scott Goldsby and Alicia Palmowski on row three. Daniel Holdsworth and Henry Foote on row four. Cody Eustace and Millie Hart round out the top ten. Hart, the leading rookie in cart number 147, but her main rival today, Sam Hallahinksman, is right behind her in P11 on the grade in cart number 140, ahead of Oscar Wormsley-Jones. Row number seven is Aaron Mensah and Freddie Cox. Daniela Sutton, one of five rookies in the field on her first, I believe, DRS outing. She's done well to qualify 15th for the grand final. Bryn Calder on the outside of row eight. And Owen Johns and Ali Hussain, they share row number nine. Row ten is Daniel Weir and Jake Robinson with Tuscany Groves rounding out the 21-cart field in this the penultimate race of the day here at round two of the 2020 Daniel Ricardo series at Clay Pigeon Raceway. And out we go onto the circuit, nearly. Engines are off right. There's a green flag waves. And we are out on track. Do his get round the penultimate time. Feeney, if he can get some clear air, he knows he's got the pace to pull away. He's got to judge this bit right, though. We're off and racing. Now, Sabula on the outside. Gets a good start, but Harvey has the inside line. He runs a little bit wide. Can Ben Gartside get to the inside as they come through the first chicane? It looks as though Harvey has held on to the lead, but Gartside, that was a very, very close one. Gartside again to the inside. No, goals being third place. Holdsworth is out with the fourth place. So Sabula, well, Sabula bet the house on getting away from the start. He got alongside... Uh, Thomas Harvey for the run down towards but uh, oh and there's somebody pulling off the track they think that might have been Ben Gartside coming it through turn number six and it was goals we now into P2 so Thomas Harvey he was briefly headed going into Billy's by Daniel Sabula but Harvey then ran a little bit wide Sabula on the outside had no choice but to go even wider Gartside almost got at the inside but then ran wide coming up uh, through turn six and it is so not only has Thomas Harvey found himself in with a big advantage at the front of the field, his nearest rival, Daniel Sabula, is down in fourth position. It's Goldsby second, Holdsworth third, then it's Sabula in fourth, Eustace is fifth, Briarly sixth, Gartside recovering in seventh, Foot is eighth, Palmowski is ninth, and Sam Hallahinksman is the leading rookie at the moment in tenth position. Oh, so. It could have gone Harvey wrong for Thomas Harvey there, but it actually has turned out probably the best result that he has had on the first lap all day. And arguably, it comes out that he made his worst start of the day because Daniel Sabula timed it perfectly, and I said he bet his he bet the house on getting around the outside of Harvey coming through turn number one as the pretty much that was his only shot at victory and he, he would have known that because nobody else is able to get hold a candle to Harvey once Harvey gets into clean air so Sabula thought well, if I'm going to get him I've got to get him at the start and it just he ran a little bit too wide but hey better to attempt to pass and fail than just sit there and wonder what might have been now Sabula and side by side with Cody Eustace. Oh, and Eustace there coming across to take his line going into turn number six. Sabula trying to go around the outside. That didn't work. And Sabula then has to back out of it there and has lost another place. And Cody Eustace thinking, no, come on, think. So Sabula down to sixth position. Dylan Briarly is down to eighth place. Now Ben Gart's side, he briefly got second. He almost briefly got the lead halfway through the first corner because when uh, Sabula ran wide and, and, and uh, Harley ran a little bit wide, Gart's side almost got to the inside but then briefly ran second and then slipped back after running off track at turn six, which is here on the first lap. But at the end of lap number four, Thomas Harvey, then make that at the end of lap number five, Thomas Harvey leads Scott Goldsby in cart number 139 by a massive two seconds.
Holdsworth is third. And uh, Daniel Holdsworth here just checking over his shoulder. Make sure we're... He's, there's a move. That in the green race, it was Henry Foot diving at the inside of, of what well, he was trying to get past. Uh, uh, did, he did get past Dylan Briley. He was trying to get past Alicia Palmowski as well. But uh, Palmowski is seventh. So we're just chasing. This is the group on screen. Six, seven, eight. There is second place, Scott Goldsby. Third for Holdsworth. Fourth, Eustace. Fifth, guard side. Then this snarling pack led by Daniel Sabula. Who's under pressure? Alicia Palmowski. Palmowski this time makes the move stick. At Billy's blind, although Sabula trying to come back at Palmowski, wheel to wheel, coming onto the Sturmey straight, and Henry Foot on the outside, oh, we're three wide into the hairpin, and that looked like Briarly, was it? No, it was a uh, one, four, six, Aaron Mensah trying to make it three wide, and he's fallen back a little bit, and oh, Daniel Sabula is getting, uh, now he's been caught in a real sort of elbows out, tough and nails battle, Sabula is uh, not able to utilize the pace he's got in that cart. Now behind the 101 cart of Briarley, here is your lead, your rookie battle for the top rookie spot. Millie Harty, cart 147, picks up 11th place, passing your rival Sam Hallahinksman. Hallahinksman comes back at Millie Hart. The two leading rookies, 11th and 12th behind them, there's a spin. And that is number 128 of Oscar Wormsley Jones going off. And I couldn't quite see. Who the other driver was? It may have been Freddie Cox. It may have been Ali Hussein. We'll find out next time around. But I said, so Harvey leads Goldsby by two and a half seconds. There's the lead battle. The, the, lead, the carts, no battling going on there. Gart side is back into third place. So where is Cody Eustace? Or did we just miss Cody Eustace going through? There is Gartside and Holdsworth battling for fourth position. Or is this now battling for third? What has happened to Cody Eustace? So I'm going to see where is the number 134 cart? Have we got a cart slowing down potentially? Uh, yes, we do. Eustace is falling down the order. So a mechanical issue, I believe, for Cody Eustace. I can't see a cart off at the side of the circuit. So. Goldsby checks over his shoulder and thinks, oh, that's a bigger gap than I had before. Gartside now runs in third. Holdsworth in fourth. So this battle on screen is for the final podium position as things stand. We've still got half the race to go, though. Six minutes remaining. Palmowski is up at the fifth position. Foot is sixth. Sabula seventh. Mensah is eighth. Halle Hinksman is the leading rookie in ninth. Followed by Millie Hart in tenth. Ali Hussein is next. Dylan Briarly has fallen all the way back to 12th place. Freddie Cox is 13th. Then it is Daniela Sutton in 14th. Daniel Weir is 15th. Eustace has come across the line in 16th position. Uh, Robinson is 17th. Calder is 18th. Walmsley Jones is 19th. And Tuscany Groves rounds out your top 20. So 1-3-3-0. Ben Gartside runs in third place at the moment with Holdsworth in the number 132 right behind him. They go through the horseshoe through turn number six. You can see Goldsby clear in front. Scott Goldsby in cart number 139 finished seventh in the final at Rissington, but scored really consistent points all day. He's actually third in the championship at the moment is Scott Goldsby, and this second place run couldn't come at a better time for him. New fastest lap for Thomas Harvey on lap number 11. He's still got five minutes to go, and closing in on guard side and Holdsworth is number nine, Alicia Palmowski. So Palmowski, who's had a spin today, she's had to battle her way up, can she get another podium? Finishing second last time out at Richmond. She waited until the last lap there to get the job done. Now behind Palmowski is number 138 Henry Foote. And Henry Foote has got Daniel Sabula right behind him. So four and a half minutes to go. Foote and Sabula will be trying to work together to maybe catch this battle. Although Ben Gartside in third place now beginning to pull away a little bit from Daniel Holdsworth. So Palmowski needs to make her move on Holdsworth now if she's got any chance of a podium, you have to say. Because Gartside is pulling clear. Ben Gartside in cart number 130, finished ninth at Rissington. So a podium would be a very, very welcome boost for him here at Clay Pigeon. Thomas Harvey, meanwhile, wow. Absolutely dominating things here. His lead, 36-0-4-5 second lap for goal for Harvey. Goals be Somewhere back in second, Palmowski briefly gets alongside, but on the outside around Billy's blind, Holdsworth hangs on to P4. Good stuff there from Daniel Holdsworth. 
Now the more that Holdsworth fends off Palmowski, the further away guard side in front of them will get, but the closer the foot and Sabula will get behind them because there is number 138 Henry Foot, and behind him is number 135 Daniel Sabula. They're closing in now. What will Palmowski do this time? Does she look to the inside? Yes, she does. Although Holdsworth still has a better momentum on the outside line. Holdsworth holds, hangs on. But number 130, Ben Gartside is getting further and further away in front of them. Three minutes to go. Palmowski again gets alongside, uh, getting alongside Holdsworth coming out of the hairpin. But Holdsworth has the inside line for the run round horseshoe and through turn number six. At some point, Palmowski is going to have to really throw the kitchen sink at this move. Coming round the kink, will she dive up the inside going to Billy? She's already tried it once and it went wrong in the pre-final. Holdsworth taking a wider line into Billy. That means he's got a better run out of the S's here. Onto Sturmy straight. He checks over his shoulder. Palmowski looks to the inside. Palmowski makes the move. Up into P4. And Holdsworth has held his line very, very well there, but he's had to give best. Now, a little bit further back, two and a half minutes to go. Harvey continues to lead from Goldsby to dark side. Thomas There's Harvey again has got the entire length of the Sturmy straight. Here is Goldsby. Gartside closing in on Goldsby. Has Ben Gartside got a sniff of second position with just over a minute of this race remaining? Through. Top bend we go. Goldsby checking over his shoulder. He now sees how close that Ben Gartside is. And that's probably given him something to worry about. Over the last minute or so of this race, Ben Gartside with the bit between his teeth. Now, a little further back there. I'm seeing as they come out of the S on the Sturmy straight. Ben Gartside's going to try and size up a move. If he can, Palmowski is two seconds behind this battle. So she is no longer a factor for the podium. Holdsworth is still fifth. Foot is sixth. And I'm looking, there is a gap of about a cigarette paper's width between the two leading rookies in ninth and tenth. And it's number 140, Sam Hallahinsman, who has the advantage over Millie Hart. Here comes Gartside, who has caught Scott Goldsby. 20 seconds to go. Thomas Harvey, five and a half seconds up the road. Here we go. Game on for second place. Ben Gartside to the inside of Goldsby at the hairpin. He makes the move. Great result there from Gartside. He even says thank you to Scott Goldsby for not defending too much. Scott Goldsby, like, that's all right. I'm going to get you back now. Don't worry. I'll be just as gentlemanly when I repass you for second place in the next lap or so. We're on the final lap. Lap 21 here at Clay Pigeon. Thomas Harvey on route to victory. Who's going to be second? Is it Gartside or Goldsby? There's Henry Foote chasing the number 132 cart of Holdsworth. Holdsworth runs a little bit wide going into Billy's. Henry Foote trying to wrestle sixth place away from Holdsworth. They're chased by number 146 Aaron Mensah. Matt Mensah is a long way back in eighth place. Ali Hussein's up to ninth and Dylan Briley's up to tenth. So the two rookies have battled themselves out of the top ten. It's still Sam Hallahinsman who leads, but there's a checker flag. A perfect day for Thomas Harvey and... Ben Gartside by the length.